Okay, hello. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make these hand-painted canvas shoes. First thing you're going to need is um, just any pair of canvas shoes. I got these for $6 at Dollar General. Um, I would recommend getting a white pair. Unfortunately, all they had available was light gray, as you can see from the inside. Um, at my local store, but I just think it would be a lot easier um, to start out with a just a blank white canvas. And the next things you're going to need um, would be acrylic paints is what I use. They do have fabric paints available, um, but I'm all about doing the cheapest way you can, so I just use what I had available. Um, for the neon painted ones, what I used was the Craft Smart paints. You can get them for like 69 cents at Michael's. I used an neon orange Craft Smart paint, neon yellow Craft Smart. These are all Craft Smart, by the way, uh, except for a couple. Uh, neon pink, violet, bright blue, and I got this one at Five Below. It's a artist paint an acrylic. It's in bright yellow green, um, and it's very easy. I took a, let's see here, this is a number two Craft Smart brush, very stiff bristles, um, and what I did was just get enough on my brush just to cover the tip of it and did like a pouncing motion all over and just continue to clean my brush dip it in the next color um, and just went all over the shoe um, I wouldn't get it too thick because this is going to take longer to dry um, but eventually after you've added all those colors I just showed you and do that pouncing motion you get this effect now, you notice um, I did get a little bit on the sole of the shoe. It cleaned up really easy with water and a microfiber uh, cleaning towel. And um, I also used a cleaning wipe but with bleach on it. Um, as you can tell, it, it came off really easily. These are the sh cosmic shoes I did for my daughter. It came off really easy on the sole. You can still see a little hint of it, but I imagine the longer you wear it, it's going to wear off. Um, I wouldn't wear these shoes in the rain just in fear of they would the colors would probably get a little soggy and run together and look a little muddy and just create a horrible mess. Um, but that's how I did the neon colored shoe. Now this is a um, cosmic shoe I did for my daughter um, and the colors I used on this one was let's see here. The Sergeant um, Thalocketing Blue. I don't know if you can see that. I can't pronounce that. But it's like a titanium blue. And I also used the Craft Smart Violet. And, excuse me, um, the Neon Pink. And I think I used another color. Yeah, I did. Um, I use the Sargent Dark Ultramarine. Let's see here. I can't see this. I think it's just Dark Ultramarine. Um, but instead of the brush on this one, which I think you could get the same effect, but I like the effect of the sponge better. These are just um, round cosmetic sponges. I like the softness and the, the pattern it gave me. And what I did is just started with each color and just went all over and did like a, a pouncing motion. And I just came back in with the blue and the the pink and gave the the constellations a little bit more depth. Um, like I said, I just got a little bit of... I didn't want my sponge just completely saturated, so I just dabbed it in my paint well and just got a dab on there and just started pouncing all over. 
I tried to keep my fingertips snug in there like that a lot of the times just because you get a better look and it doesn't have that sharp edge on it you know around the sponge um, and for the stars I just came in and used um, artist paint acrylic titanium white I got this at uh, five below as well um, and I used a Royal Majestic and this is a uh, 20 over zero fine line detail brush I love these brushes and I just let's see if I have some white open I do it's dried up and I just took my brush and just dipped the tip of it in the paint I don't have a dark color to show you on but basically what you're doing is you're dropping a dot and then you're going to lift up and then you're going to take your brush and just go from one side to another it's kind of like your pinstriping if you've ever watched those pinstriping videos um, just put it right in the center and pull and gradually lift up dip it in pull and gradually lift up and you're going to create this star and then what I did for the um, the non-glowing stars these are style sticks and I got them at um, Hobby Lobby they're great for um, points fine lines and letters shading um, and they're great for these dots I just made and all I did was just dip my the just the tip of my um, style stick in the paint just the very tip of it and just came in and just dot it all around um, I, she loved how her shoes turned out I thought they turned out really great but this is so simple adult a child can do it I thought this these would be fun little play shoes for the summer um, I know my daughter plays outside a lot and I just thought there would be something lightweight just to slip on and run outside and play you know good for the beach like I said I wouldn't wear my water though I just wouldn't trust the, the acrylics to hold up that well um, but like I said this whole thing you know granted I already had the the collection of paints these two pair of shoes were uh, ten dollars plus tax at Dollar General um, I wore mine around the house for a little this morning just because I like to wear my shoes a little bit before I commit to wearing them all day long just because I don't want blisters and I'm really not a fan of cheap shoes um, just because sometimes they ruin your feet I'm not trying to be snobby there but um, you know growing up you know you got what your mom bought you and now I'm just a, a lover of shoes um, I think I would put some insoles in them uh, just to keep uh, your feet from uh, sweating so much and creating that horrible stink um, but I really had a great time doing these um, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer you um, but have fun with it thanks for watching